Do you ever envision uh, a time where the sport would have no weight cutting, where they would just match people up by weight? When there's no weight cutting? No weight uh, cutting. What I if think... there was more weight classes, <laughs> yeah. but no weight cutting? I think that would be fine. I would love that, actually, to make it more of a natural competition, yeah. you know what I mean? As opposed to people trying to get the edge, over, right. trying to get the edge on, on their but opponent. But it seems by. like... A crazy edge to agree to. Yeah. Like if we were like I I firmly believe that if, if weight cutting didn't exist and then people started doing it now, they would try to ban it. They yeah. would try to say don't do that. That's dangerous. You're twenty four hours before you're gonna have a fucking cage fight. Yeah. You're gonna dehydrate, dehydrate yourself, yourself yeah. to death's door. To death's door. I've <laughs> seen some dudes that were on death's door. Really? Oh yeah. Ugh. Travis Luter, when he fought Anderson Silva, was the worst I ever saw a man when he was uh, cutting weight. Mm. Travis couldn't walk. He was shuffling to the scale. Yeah. And he missed weight. He missed weight in a world title fight. And he had a real shot against Anderson because his jiu-jitsu was phenomenal. Okay. His jiu-jitsu was yeah, phenomenal. Was, yeah. He took Anderson down and got caught in a triangle and got beat up. Mm-hmm. But, but he that, was the closest I saw to, like, I looked at that guy, I'm like, oh, my God. Like, if I found that guy in the desert, I'd get him right to the hospital. Yeah. I'd be like, holy shit, bro, you okay? Like, have some water. <laughs> we're going to get you somewhere, man. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, that's what he looked like. Wow, just out of it, huh? Just sucked in. Just When you're, you're almost killing yourself, you're taking all the water out of your body, yeah. and then you're putting it back in. Uh, 24 hours before mm -hmm. the most extreme physical combat sport that's currently available. Yeah. Which is MMA. Out of your vital organs. Oh, you know, your in America. Your brain, yeah. Well, you know, there's some left way shit. They, they would might like, disagree that there's more extreme. Yeah. But that's why I wouldn't do no extreme weight cut myself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I told, that's why I said, that's why uh, middleweight is where I'm stopping. I, c I could probably do well to weight with a uh, strict diet over a period of time. Wow. And you would be a giant <laughs> welterweight. Yeah. But uh, wow! But that would be uncomfortable for me. That would be uncomfortable to live. I wouldn't be able to live the way I want to. I wouldn't sure. be able to eat the way I would like. You know what I mean? I remember and, uh, I ran in the, in the Rumble. Rest in peace. I ran into mm -hmm. Anthony Rumble Johnson in a hotel lobby. And I go, how big are you? <laughs> and this is when he's fighting at welterweight. He goes, I'm 230 right now. I'm like, oh, no goodness. way. Did I fight with you? No, okay. no, 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 no. He was in town for the fights okay. just to watch. But you you couldn't believe how big he was, and yeah. then he would make it down to one seventy. Wow! If, even if that was fight, that would that would explain some of his uh, uh, missed weight cuts <laughs> showing up to fight week at two thirty. <sighs> yeah, it, I don't think the UFC now would let allow something like that to happen. A fight like that, probably to go not. Yeah. Well, there's so much more. Uh, you know, there's some more eyes on the fighters' behavior and what they're allowed to do and not allowed to do. Yeah. 